I'd like to walk you through some basics about using PayPal with eBay and other websites that you may wish to set up for selling merchandise or services online. Let's discuss the concepts in general here about how all this works. First, I want to show you an eBay listing page. And when you're listing an item on eBay to add PayPal as a method of payment, you simply have to go into the Sell Your Item form on eBay and add the email address that's associated with your PayPal account. Now, if you have your own website, you can go ahead and add buttons to that website to allow people to click the button and quickly purchase the product that you're selling. This is a very simple button that you can create directly on your PayPal account. It then allows the person who's buying that product to go in and sign into their PayPal account and quickly pay for the item. You can generate the code for this by going to the PayPal website and provide the code to the programmer who sets up your web pages, or you can put it directly into the website yourself if you're familiar with HTML. It does not require extensive programming knowledge because it is simple HTML, and you can just drop and copy it directly into your web page. As you can see in this code example, this is a view of the backend code for this web page. It's a simple matter of copying and pasting the code directly into the section on the web page where you want it to appear. These buttons are then saved into your PayPal account for later reuse. Now, if you log into PayPal and you want to learn more about the options that are available for you for selling on your website, you'll want to start at the Merchant Services tab. There's a lot of links here, and it can get a little overwhelming if you're new to PayPal. Here you can learn about the different resources, and on the left-hand side menu, you'll see Merchant Services that are available for you. And then if you scroll through, you'll see hot links that allow you to go in and explore different aspects of PayPal's merchant offerings. Now, I'm going to take you through a couple of comparisons on some of the services that are offered. And the first one is Website Payments and Website Payments Pro. Website Payments Standard is just a name for the services that are automatically enabled when you register for PayPal. And when you have a PayPal Premier account or a business account, you can accept credit cards online automatically. You can also accept PayPal payments too. With Website Payments Pro, you'll be able to process credit card payments directly on your website and the user will never go to the PayPal site. So it's seamless and it appears as though credit card processing is taking place directly on your website. If you want to learn more about these services, you can go through and look at the comparison online and it'll explain to you what the benefits of each service are and when you should probably use them. Website Payments Pro has some sophisticated customized risk filters that also help you to avoid chargebacks. If you look at the next section here, you'll see a thing called PayFlow Payment Gateway. If you're a merchant with an existing relationship with a bank for internet credit card processing, you can integrate that credit card processing directly with PayPal, and you can use the service called the PayFlow Payment Gateway. That's a little different because it's a hybrid where you're using an older system, something that you've already established, along with the PayPal services. If you look at the next tab here, you'll see that PayPal offers a service called Express Checkout. Express Checkout is very similar to the regular checkout, except that you don't have to enter as much information to go through the process of purchasing an item. This is a great complement to any existing website where you're offering another payment method, such as direct credit card, but you also want to give your customer a chance to use PayPal in a quick and easy fashion. Express Checkout is much faster than just simply having to type in a bunch of credit card information. And it's proven to boost sales by up to 18% by adding PayPal as a method of payment to your web page. Now, this is a really, really handy service. And let me explain this service. This is one of my favorite services that PayPal offers for merchants. It's called Virtual Terminal. I used to have a very expensive monthly service charge with a bank where they would process credit cards for me. And I've been able to eliminate that by having a virtual terminal. There's no machine. There's no equipment. You can quickly and easily process payments by phone, fax, or mail. Or you can have people come into your store and you can process credit card payments that way too. Virtual terminal is just what it sounds like. It's a virtual credit card terminal that you can use. And if you want to use the optional uh, credit card swiper, it plugs directly into your computer's USB port. And you can order one to be used with this virtual terminal service. So this is a great way to take phone orders especially, and it speeds up the process because there's no paper, there's no forms, and the fraud protection that you get with Virtual Terminal is absolutely superior. I've been using Virtual Terminal for about two years now, and I'm very happy with the service. The next thing I want to show you is the partner directory. If you are interested in using a third-party cart, like a shopping cart service, 
there are free cards available in the partner directory. So if you want to learn more about these, you can go to the PayPal site and explore the partner directory. Here's an example of a totally 100% free shopping cart that you can add to your own website. You can click here and learn more about these services and by offering one of these carts, you can make your website a lot more professional looking and make it easier for customers to buy and check out and purchase products. Now, I'm just covering basic concepts here about how all this works. To dive a lot deeper into the more complex aspects of PayPal integration, if you're not a programmer, you might want to find someone who's already well-versed in the area of PayPal integration for your website. If you're pretty good with HTML, you can easily add buttons to your site and start accepting payments quickly and easily, and eventually graduate up into a more sophisticated shopping cart system.